Hi everybody, and welcome back to the Foot Locker Project. My name is Mr. C, and today we're talking about helmets. Wow! are super important. Why? They protect our brains. Just like sports you might play at home, baseball, softball, and those types of activities, you wear a helmet to protect your head. Soldiers have to wear helmets also to make sure that their heads are protected when they're in battle. Helmets have evolved over the years, and we can see that in the way they're built and constructed. Look at this helmet, it's pretty basic. It's metal, it's got a leather strap to keep it from falling off my head, it also has some leather here where my head sits in, and it keeps it nice and snug so that it doesn't fall around and flop all around the place while I'm trying to walk, march, or I'm in battle. If we look at this helmet compared to that helmet, this one is much sturdier. It just, you can feel how much thicker it is. It's probably designed that way to take a little bit more abuse. On the inside of it, it looks similar to the other helmet. It has a place for your head to fit into so that it's nice and snug and so that your head's not smacked up against the actual helmet itself. So it kind of has this little array of straps. It looks like it has the same kind of uh, bill up on the front as well to kind of keep moisture and water from flopping down into your face or if something's running off, it's gonna kind of run off away from your face a little bit. Now, after we've looked at those two helmets, metal outside, metal shell, this helmet here has fabric on the outside, which makes it stand out instantly. And also it's green, so I want you guys to think about where do you think this helmet was probably used at? The inside of it looks very similar to what we saw in the other helmet just a moment ago. But now the strap that holds it against my head has some adjusting capabilities. So I can make it fit better so that when I'm walking it's probably not going to be flopping around as much. And uh, it looks like it has the same internal shell as well. We're going from older models of helmets to more modern style of helmets. And this helmet looks probably completely different. One, we have this up here. This piece of equipment probably allows soldiers to put night goggles or flashlights or different things for them to help them um, when they're doing work or they're deployed so that they can keep their hands free and they can use this and attach something on the top of it, which is super cool. Now the inside of this, it's similar. You can tell that it's evolved but the, the chin strap is much nicer. It's thicker, you can tell it's sturdier. And then the cushion where your head goes into looks like it is just probably more comfortable as well. Oh yeah. All right, so this helmet here, you can see the profile kind of goes down. This helps protect my ears. So not only am I protecting my noggin, but I'm also, it's coming down to protect my ears a little bit more than the other helmets were. Yeah, this is the most comfortable of the four that I've put on. What do you, what do you think of the color? Where do you think this helmet might be used? Ow! Yeah, that's a really cool helmet. That is by far my favorite. All four of these helmets were designed to protect the brain from shrapnel. This one is probably going to be the safer of the four helmets I have here in front of me. So what if you had to design your own helmet to help a soldier? What kind of things would you do to modify, to engineer, to make this something better than it already is? I mean, you can see where it's evolved from over time, but what is the next iteration going to look like? What do you think engineers are going to be working on now to help protect our soldiers even more in the future? Continue researching and learning on your own. And don't worry, I've got more exciting things that we're gonna talk about here in the Foot Locker Project.